Hi, this is Mike from Teku Studios and today we're going to talk a bit about Candle's gameplay. So, let's take a look at it. First of all, Candle is a graphic adventure, but it's not point and click control. You can control Teku the way you want, it's very dynamic and organic and you can move freely over the environments. You can walk around normally in the way you want and you can also run if you want so. So let's run a bit, yeah. Bing! That's the context sensitive icon. Since there is no point and click interface at all, we want you to interact with the environment the way you want. By pressing the action button, Teku can take part in a huge variety of actions. So let's take a look, let's pull that crate. Now I can climb freely over this crate, even go to the other side and pull, push the crate again. If I go up the crate again, I can jump vertically in order to reach that ledge. I'll show you. Once I'm hanging, I can go down again by pressing down, or climb it by pressing up. Now, you may notice that this is only a vertical jump. However, Teku can jump horizontally as well, with short and long jumps depending on his speed. Now let's push this tattoo down. Hmm, seems like I can go to the other side now. Let's go and see what's there. Let's pick the item. And go back again. If you walk towards a cliff, by the way, Tech will stop and begin an animation that warns you that you can go down safely by pressing down. Now let's run a bit over there. Whoa! Seems like a safe jump. And let's go. Well, seems like I made it. Then just... Oh, what's that? Maybe it's a friendly animal. Or maybe not. I think I'll just go up. Phew! That was close. Now I have multiple places to go, but I think I'll just go inside that tower. So let's save this little gap over here with the short jump. Nice transition. Oh, and you can climb the stairs facing any direction, by the way. And the lever pull animation is on the works now. Nice light by the way, still unfinished. Let's go to the other side now. What a short loading time, isn't it? By the way, in Candle you can swim and dive normally as well, but now we're going to show you more things, so we're going up for now. There are certain moments in the game where Teku moves towards another area by using the context sensitive action button. This little body over here means no harm to Teku. Not everything kills you in Candle. Hmm, an inventory minigame. Let's open the quick inventory. Whoops, what a nice placeholders there. Let's just go with the button of love. And something happens! Eh, yeah, that rabbit seems to like that. Let's go down again then. Hmm, now I can jump over the rock. You're thinking on going into the water, aren't you? Unfortunately, we're warping to the previous zone of the level to show you a new one. 
We're back again, so let's go upstairs this time. In this new area, we're going to show you a little insight on physical space puzzles. During his adventure, Teku will not only face splash screen minigames or item pickups, but other kind of traps and tests as well. Oh, that thing just broke! Hope oh, that safety chain does not also break! Damn! Now we're showing you an item environment in which Teku has his candle on, and now you can notice how the shader works. If Teku has its candle on, all the lighting changes and the corners darken, and the main light sound just changes the color of every sprite that's around Teku. And if you turn it off, the darkness comes again and all the sprites return to their original night colors. Also, the light has different effect on some characters. Now, this little toad over here is going to be scared of the light. Teku will have exclusive actions when his candle is on. Notice how the light works inside the building. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and just hope you enjoyed our gameplay video. See ya!